Hi, I'm James Falcon. And I'm Enrique. And we're one of the two men's quick service teams for James and Wynn. We just want to give you a brief description of the jobs and uh, duties that we perform. We know your time is valuable. Here at James and Wynn, we have a two-man team. As technician A, what I do is uh, go through the lights, check the windshield wipers, parking brake, and horn operation. Right blinker, left blinker, high beams. Left blinker, right blinker, put off the brakes. Good to go, kill it. Recommend rear wiper insert. It's Tech B. We set the legs on the lift in which I perform the tire uh, pressure inspection, make sure it's set to the proper specs. Why do we check tire pressure? Um, well, the amount of air required to properly inflate a tire depends on the size and type of tire, the size and weight of the vehicle, vehicle loading and driving conditions. A tire that is properly inflated will provide safe driving, maximum traction, good handling, and optimum tire life. After that, I check the battery and make sure it's good. I do check the cabin filter uh, just to make sure that it doesn't need changing or if it does need changing, we have to get a replacement for it. Recommend cabin filter. Then I check all the fluids, make sure they're all topped off and I check the belt for any cracks or discolor. All right, going up, clear. Right. We put the vehicle in the air. Once that's done, I check the brakes, tires, and make sure there's no nails or anything in the tire. I, do, I perform the oil change. Over time, engine oil breaks down and wears out. When it does, it becomes less effective at lubricating the engine and absorbing heat. As an automotive owner, your goal is to change the oil in your engine before it breaks down and causes major engine troubles. How often? It depends on, how, uh, on the way that you drive, how old your engine is, and where you live. Many mechanics will recommend you change your oil every 3,000 miles. Once that's done, I check for any leaks, any broken boots, for the suspension, anything that would affect the car from running in good conditions. After I perform the oil change, if tires need to be rotated, we rotate tires, set the vehicle down on the ground, and we torque down tires to their proper specs. Why do tires need to be rotated? And sure is even tire wear. Even tire wear is desirable to extend the useful life of a set of tires. The weight on the front and rear axles differs, which causes uneven wear. During rotation, each tire and wheel is removed from the vehicle and moved to a different position to ensure that all tires wear evenly and last longer. Tires should be rotated every six months or 6,000 to 8,000 miles. Thanks for watching this video. Come by Jenkins and Wynn Honda and see me and Enrique and we'll get you out as quickly as possible. 15% sticker already in. TPMS recalibrated.